Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona, it's Beer Googles, Double E, Double O, Double G, with Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles from the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. <clears throat> Kick it off me, bro. Welcome. Hello, Chuck Mark. Welcome to Beer Googles. Hello. Hola. How are you still? Just very good. You you introduce check mark. He comes on site. It's I like it's like calling Beetlejuice, but only once. Yes, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. That was I, four check marks. Four check mark make me go away again. <laughs> it's like bye. I got this go. I, uh, I get called too many times. Today's beer googles, my dude, from the branch office in Santa Ana, California. We got another branch office. We have a new opening. No, no, this the is the same old opening, opening yeah. from last week. The same branch, still open, didn't close. Man, uh, can we can we go through our current branches? Uh, we have Columbus, we, Georgia, on the east Columbus, side. Columbus, Georgia, Santa Ana, California. Super senior executive producer in Mary's Scottsdale. In, in Scottsdale. So we have three branch offices. That's the second branch, and then this third one is in Santa, Santa Ana. Ana. Okay. This in is Califas. the BF. The this BFF from the Abul. Yes, the BFF offices. Yes. And then your home offices is in, in Gilbert. G Town. And then we got the Treehouse in in Phoenix. There's so many. Places. And there's a lot of places. We're growing. We We're growing like a weed. Like weed. Oh, that guy's going to have a concussion. Uh, there's the game on in the background on uh, December. I'm sorry, January 24th, 2021 on Sunday, Sunday. Today's episode is best and worst advice you've ever been given. Ooh, there was worst advice too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There's some funny no shit, wonder bro. Is the beer Googles. Yeah, so however, before we start, I would like to read you something that I found incredibly funny yesterday evening. I watched this show on uh, uh, I don't Disney Disney Plus, I think it was. It was okay. eight episodes. They're short. I watched it in one day. And I, th- I looked it up on IMDb to look up a couple of the actors. The first review I came to, I was hooked. Love this. I don't know who this guy is. Girl, person, amazing. Are you ready? Yes. This show changed my life, exclamation point. Before I watched the show, I had a void in my life. There was uncertainty in my life. When someone asked me what was the worst thing I've ever watched, I could not answer that question instantly. I could stop, think about it, consider options, and try to find out which one would deserve that title. But now, everything has changed. If someone asks me that question again, I will not have to stop and think about it. I will not hesitate. I will not drown in uncertainty! Exclamation point. Now I have a definite answer to that question, and I can now answer it instantly without a second thought. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, ABC. Thanks to everyone involved in this show for having such an impact on my life. Thank you! Exclamation point. That's the fucking most amazing review ever. Uh, what show is this? Inhumans on ABC 2017. A Marvel spinoff of some sort. It, it was average at best. But this person, <laughs> I, I adore them. Is their phone sticky after that review? <laughs> it could be, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna read this to check mark tomorrow. I don't know if that's the worst advice ever given or just the worst review ever. It's given. the best review of the of a bad show because the sarcasm's like dripping off the screen. It's amazing. Mm. The show changed my life. Changed my life. It must have been the best show ever in history. Nope. Show. Worst show. Thank you, ABC. Thank you, Marvel. I love that shit. So you think it was sarcasm or do you think? Oh yeah. Be surprised. Cause the show's terrible. What? I thought you said average at best. So oh, average yeah. isn't terrible. Uh, average is not great, but average is average. What would, what, what would you consider an average sitcom? Cheers. No. Is above average. Cheers well, above is my average? favorite show of all time. Favorite show of all time. Seinfeld. Uh, so s- Seinfeld's above average. Oh yeah, uh, and I'm sorry. Your question was an average sitcom, or uh, what would you like consider the George average? George Lopez show. Okay, yeah, uh, that would do it. Yeah, um, I think yeah, that Roseanne, would be. Roseanne, I didn't. It was like, ah, uh, I didn't think it was that funny, but a lot of people loved it. A lot of people related to it. So yeah, it was an oddly midwest, like a middle of the country kind of relationship. Yeah, 
I, were they in Ohio? I don't know. I, I hardly watched it. Ohio. O H I O. Yes. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we um, can spell. Yes, that four letter state. Congratulations to the to the college. All of the, the spellers. To the college that can spell it as well. All of the spellers. The Ohio State. Um what what are we talking about again? Today Here the Google's double best e, double and double worst G? advice ever given. Okay. I that review is still it's, it's amazing, ringing. Dude. It's a ring. Yeah. It's a ring. What if it's real? Real. You think it's sarcasm. It's on but why are you being so why Because are you being the guy so, hated the show. How do you hate the, how do you know he hated the show? Because he if I ever have to answer what's the worst thing I ever watched, I can now answer it instantly. Oh. That's where that's where he shot on it. I, I got lost in that. I thought <sighs> I thought he said I cannot answer it instantly. I, I could not know. answer instantly. Right. But if someone asks me that question again, I will not have to stop and think about it. I will not hesitate. Oh, okay. I will got not it. drown in uncertainty. Yeah. Ne Your show's a piece of shit is what he just now said. Now I have a definite answer to the question. I can now <laughs> answer it instantly without a second thought. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, ABC. Wow. How many did you watch of this? There's eight episodes or like 40 minutes a piece. You watched all of them? Yeah. So is it worth it? Absolutely not. You never get that time back? Nope. I think that's why I started drinking. I started watching. I know this is so, we're having such a fun time not talking about the topic. Um, started watching Midnight Sky. George Clooney mm. directed and is, yeah. is starring in it. Right. It seems really interesting. I but heard it's, it's not good. It looks like it's going to be slow. Uh, it's two hours. It looks like it's going to be slow. Felicia said it's not good. Yeah, because basically what it is is he is terminally ill. But there's a global and isn't it like a climate change event. stuff? It's hard to tell, but yeah, he's in an Antarctic station. So, but they're basically like as they're evacuating the station, like you're gonna, you're terminally ill patient, out gonna live the human race. Wow, they actually said that. So obviously, whatever event happened was pretty globally catastrophic. How far and are you into it? Third, twenty minutes into it, thirty okay. minutes into it. But then he's trying to reach. He know there's a space ship out there that's coming back from a planet that they were surveying to see if it was habitable or whatever yeah and habitable. he's trying to reach them telling him not to land on earth because they can't so trying to convince them to either stay in orbit or whatever and he's trying to re i'm at the point where he's like they haven't heard from him and he hasn't heard from them but they're both it's an interesting concept yeah for sure the, the spaceship has no idea what the fuck's going on on earth they have no clue. Right. So they weren't told. Everything just went dark So on should that. I watch it or not? Oh, fuck. I, I no, don't know. No, I can't. say watch it. No, because I can't watch anything you suggest. Yeah. Don't watch it, sir. So if you uh, you have to reverse psychology me, right, bro. Right. Don't watch it. De de um, you know what, man? Definitely don't is, watch it. The point I'll is I haven't it. seen it. So, oh. But did I steer you wrong on some documentaries? No, then? you did. There was, what was okay the last fictional one you told me to watch I liked? Gattaca? No, I haven't seen that still like in 20 years. I just remember Ethan Ian going up in the fucking spaceship. At Ethan Hawkey. Yeah. yeah. Caw -caw. Ethan Hawkey. <laughs> Ethan <laughs> Ethan what, what Pterodactyl. You, what are you trying? But what was the other thing? I don't know. What in the I last recommend? month, you recommended something that was not documentary. -like, watchable. And it was okay. It was borderline watchable. Yeah, but because it wasn't Vanilla afterwards. Sky, you motherfucker. I didn't throw up afterward. It's good. <laughs> well, let's... Okay, so how are we going to break... The, how are we going to parse this out? Are we going to uh, do I took one some person with their best advice and worst no, advice? Or we're just going to go down the list, bro. Right. Do they? Are they offering both most? Yes. Most of them? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yes. We're going to go it that way. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? I am... I've never been more or less ready. I'm not sure which okay. one. Okay. We're going to start with Georgia Boy 1. GB1. G Best advice he's ever given. Good manners are important and influence how people judge you. And they will carry you far. Good manners are important. Uh, anything about eating squirrel? Negative. No squirrel, no sushi mentioned in this episode. In the advice? He did say honorable mention. Never lease a vehicle. Huh. Is that good advice or whatever? Because a lot of sports athletes will say, if it floats, flies, or drives, you lease it. Oh, uh, I've never heard that before. Why? Because they're money. I mean, they constant maintenance, whatever, especially the high-end ones. So the lease ones are- Oh, you'd you always lease a Ferrari, yeah. not buy it? Okay. 
It makes more sense. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I don't have Just Ferrari problems. Well, <laughs> I, have I got Ferrari problems. problems and my Honda ain't one. I got Honda problems and I don't even got problems with my Honda because my Honda is awesome. I love my Honda, but it's a Honda. It's like so middle. It's extra medium. Honda is the extra medium car company. I approve that. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's interesting. So the courtesy. Is be, yeah. Say that Good one manners. Good manners. Are important and influence how people judge you and they will carry you far. That's good. Good advice. And then the second honorable mention again? Uh, don't lease a vehicle. Don't lease a vehicle. And don't ever go towards the sound. Don't ever go towards the light, Carol Land. <laughs> nice. What do you think about those? Are those good, good people? I, I think leasing a vehicle is not necessarily a bad thing. Depends on your if you Because if you want a new car every two to three years and you're okay with the payment, then, I mean, you should and know you're what you're getting. And you're mileage. Yeah, you know, you should know what you're getting into. Right. If you're going to drive it 20,000 miles a year, that's a horrible idea. I live two miles away from my job. So even even in the COVID times, I'm working from home most of the time, but even if I get into work, it is 40 miles a week tops. Right. So that's so 160 miles a month. Yeah. That is nothing. And then you do have the option to buy the car at the end of the lease if right. you want, right? Yeah. So I don't think it's always a bad idea, but... Yeah, it's just, but it makes sense. So I get those two though, especially if you're like using it as like a family vehicle, it gets stained and you have to pay all oh, the cleaning God. fees on it. That's what Cheerios I'm thinking. Cheerios up in there. Right, that's what I'm thinking leasing is so probably So never not lease a, a minivan? Yeah, never lease with peanut butter hands. Yeah. I got peanut butter hands. Okay. GB1's worst like advice. It. Worst advice. You should stay close to home for the first years of college. Like, don't go to a college that's far away or don't Correct. go on trips. Or don't don't live at home your first two years of college and then go to class at the college 20 minutes away. You should move, live in the dorms, move away from home you're, when you're young. Oh, it sounds like they're saying telling you to, to not do that. The worst advice you ever got. Right. You should stay close to home for the first years of college. Right. I'm saying they're telling you to stay close Correct. to home. Correct. And right. he's like, fuck you. Yeah, fuck that. I'm right. leaving. I'm out of here. I'm going to the University of Alaska, right. bitches. Because a lot of people, the first year or two, they'll live at home to your point yes. and then commute to their school. Right. Or They're they'll saying, go somewhere. get the fuck away. Like, yeah. you, you, you're what, 600 miles? How many? 800 miles? 20? 600? What? From you're Georgia? 600 miles? No, from Atlanta. Or from Cal from LA for you. Uh, Riddle. Where was Riddle? 375. That's it? Three six hours. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> at least my parents couldn't get there in an <laughs> hour. <laughs> So pussy, yeah. It's, I was like twenty four hundred miles. Oh, old. you're such Crazy. a stud, bro. I'm just. I drove that six times cross country. You're insane. Crazy. Uh, he did say something else. I would also accept the entire Leonard Skinner simple man as the best advice answer. I don't know what that means. Mama told me when I was young. If you simple kind of man. Right? Isn't that, isn't that the song? Uh, Yeah, but I don't know. I think there's advice in that song, like the lyrics. The I lyrics don't know are, if he meant, is that the album? Is there an album called no, I think, that? I think don't look the it lyrics, up. Don't look it up. The lyrics are like Mama told me when I was young. I think it's all the okay. lyrics themselves have advice okay, in them. Okay, now I get it. I just don't know okay. what they are. I, I do approve I that also, the, Tambian. Yeah, I agree. That's very nice. Thank you, GB1. GB1. Appreciate that. Do we get do we get all three GBs on board we this did. time? We did. That's nice because we missed one last time. Yes, we We're correct. sadly missing one. Yes. I think two was missing. No, three was three missing. Three was missing. Three was missing. C. Jaime. Uh, bring it, bring it. Jaime failed to respond. GB2. Dose. Best advice. Don't look back. It already happened. Move forward. Best advice. Best advice. It is. Don't look back. That's great. I love that. Objects in the rear view mirror may appear closer than they are. What? Who? Huh? Who's that? Meatloaf, bro. Who? Meatloaf? Oh, Meatloaf. yes. And objects is that, in the is that dashboard mirror lights? The... May appear closer than... It's Steinman, but it's not uh, It's not bad out of hell one. It's bad out of hell three. There, how many bats out of hell are there, there? There's three bats out of hell. Why didn't Ozzy bite the heads off of all those bats? Yeah, it's funny. That's one that it's bats out of hell. It's not bat out of hells. 
It's bats. Out, how many bats out of hell? Yeah, there's one hell, many bats. Yes. How many Not bats many out hells, of hell? One bat. Right. Yes. How many bats out of hell were there? I believe there were three. And but objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer. It's about looking back in time and how things seem closer than they really like. Don't dwell on the past. Yeah, don't dwell. Let that shit go, man. Yeah, I concur, bro. That's some but good, it's hard. It's some good advice right there, man. It's like hold on to it until you don't have a need to hold on to it. That's deep, dude. But is but this a beer? Google? Sometimes what are you doing? sometimes you hold on a little longer because sometimes you feel like you need to hold on a little longer. Okay. As long as it's un not unhealthy, I think we're okay. Okay. I don't know. Next. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking Worst about. Worst advice from GB2 that he ever got. Yes. You can get her. Go on over there and ask her out. <laughs> Never listen to your cousins or friends when it comes to females. Yes. <laughs> Amen to that. But, you know, it's funny because a friend of mine posted uh, on the Instagram she has twin sons, and, and she said the best things you could tell your 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 young men, young boys as they're growing up. There was like a list of twenty pieces of advice, and I one of them was never be afraid to ask out the prettiest girl in the room. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, that's you got nothing to lose, man." So, do, do, what's the worst thing that can happen? On uh, no, or well, fuck off, maybe. But I was like, "That's rad." So I'm sorry that GB2 got some advice to ask some ladies out <laughs> from his cousins and friends. I'm disappointed by this whole conversation, sir. Why? You're not woke, bro. Ah, uh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. GB3. I'm best. just saying, no, no, I love, I love it because like you and I are like, walk up to the prettiest girl in the room. Well, first of all, like, it's a little superficial, don't you think? Well. And secondly, it's but like. But don't be intimidated. No, no, no. Don't. Don't be intimidated. I know. You know what I mean? No, no, I, I totally get it. She's normal like everyone else. Right, but you're like being intimidated by a physical thing. It's like, dumb. Right. I, I know, but it's funny because like we still have to judge what the prettiest girl in the room is. It's subjective sometimes. Oh. Like it, it really changes yeah. like what everyone's definition of that is. And it's still a superficial way that the world is like, well, I can't think of my own size. Well, you got to start somewhere. And how about starting with just not being repulsed by that person? I think that's a good start. I think that's an amazing start. Right. Isn't that an amazing start? That's it what I'm is. saying. So I'm thinking that is okay. Yeah. So go. Hey, that's the prettiest girl in the room. You and I would probably have a similar prettiest woman in the room, but that might be slightly different. I don't know what you feel about Megzi, so it's hard to say. Oh, Football? the bacon double cheeseburgers oh, on the TV. Is. Oh, that does See, look, look how good that looks, that dude, does look from good. the Burger King. However, I know so if I go right. get that on the way home, it will not look like the that. bacon king. It will look like... Totally smushed half that size. You know what is a good Tangent. sandwich and very close to its originated uh, commercial value? What? The Baconator. Okay. From the from the Wendy's. And that was GB2's choice for the best- The entree? The, yes, best nice. entree in the drive-thru. The Baconator is, is a good way to go. Yeah. Uh, the the Bacon King's not bad, but it's smushed to your point. Yeah. And then there's just the ketchup and, ma and mayo kind of everywhere. Yeah, do smushy. they need to have a, a crustable double cheeseburger? <laughs> they do. They or need crimpable. to have an uncrimpable. Un un they need a crimpable, uncrustable. Bacon King. They need a crimpable Bacon King. They need an unkingable. <laughs> a uh, recrimpable. Un Baconable. Unfakeable, bakeable, crimpable, un Bacon Kingable Burger King. I'm so hungry. I don't even know. I don't think I could ever say that in that order ever again. Yes, we're gonna play it back, and then you need to say you need Never. to memorize that shit. Oh, shit. Moving we'll on. It. Yeah. Uh, GB three best advice. Never try to be something you aren't. You'll never succeed. May I piggyback off that one? No. Why do you ask questions? Just fucking talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> be yourself everyone else is taken oh that's deep dude just be yourself everyone like else is taken it's kind of like that is it not i mean yeah absolutely okay i just want to i like that one be yourself everyone else is taken it's, it's good advice okay back on to you gb3's worst advice you handsome devil hey now throw answer. away all these toys and baseball cards it's time to put away childish things who the fuck told him that I, I don't know but is he, is he married yeah it sounds more like a mom or a dad or a grandmother type figure would say that I don't know if a you mom know, would be that I mean moms have been that critical I know 
Um, but the, I, father, put away could, his child. Yeah, thing. yeah. Who did he? Does his dad work with his hands? Does he? Do you know anything about his dad? His family, uh, like background, like no. was he a blacksmith? He was a brownsmith. I don't know, dude. No, I don't know his family background. <laughs> Just curious. Like, <laughs> what kind of work? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what work he did? Or was he, was a, yeah, creative. was he a computer engineer or was he a steel worker? Yeah, I understand your exactly. question. I don't know. Okay. I can ask going forward. Sure. So then the uh, text exchange between the three Georgia boys went down a little rabbit hole, which I find amazing because Georgia boy one and three give advice to other people that is terrible. On, on purpose. purpose. So GB1, oh my his God. advice he gives to people. If I were you, I'd do it. <laughs> he said, terrible <laughs> advice I've given to countless, in all caps, people. If I were you, I'd do it is probably one of the worst. Isn't that advice. fucking great, dude? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that literally absolves you of everything. Because you're like... <sighs> The reason I don't do it is because I'm not you. I said, if I were you. If I were you. Were you not listening? If I, I said it literally, I specifically stated, if I were you, I would do it. Yes. I would not do it as me. That that it's, Was that not clear in my statement? Completely absolved. Yes. Like you went to am the I, confession. I am not complicit in any way. I just was being st- obvious and oblivious. Objective no. or something. Obvious. <laughs> Georgia boys, three advice he gives to people. Oblivious. Yes. Generally speaking, what's the worst thing that can happen? That's a good advice, actually. (laughs) Not if a guy's like, man, should I jump? Should I do it? Should I jump off the roof into the pool? Well, what's the worst thing that can happen? If I were you, I'd do it. (laughs) Like, and then dude breaks his fucking leg. I mean, you know, that's. If you were up there with him, he broke his leg. It'd be funny as shit. But then you're like, man, someone needs to call 911. (laughs) I don't, which one's weaker minded falling for what's the worst that can happen or falling for if I were you, I do. If it. I were you, I do it. That's my guess. I feel like the other one seems pretty weak though. Cause like <sighs> what's the worst that can happen and that you're processing that not breaking your leg would not be one of the Are options. Are they equally terrible? No. One, one's always worse than the other. No, okay. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. They're probably equally terrible. You're probably okay. Right. But I'm just saying like, it's funny because what's the worst could happen? If breaking your leg or snapping your neck or something isn't one of those options of what's the worst that could happen, yeah, your brain does not function properly. <laughs> and you should jump off a roof, actually. Uh, okay. I mean, just get it over with. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's the worst going to happen? Oh, uh, you know, I would never death? expect yeah, death. <laughs> Quadriplegiology. <laughs> I don't know if quadriplegiology is a thing. It's but. a beautiful word. May I coin it? Yes. You, a trademarked Quadru- to checkmark. Quadriplegiology. Well, it was trademark. The, it's trademarked. It's trademarked. <laughs> what does what does trademark sound like? Does it sound like a Middle Easterner, like in a market? Well, in a bazaar? Thank you, my friend. Come come again. A trademark. Because they trade a lot. Would, would, would trademark use the trade winds? Would it be like a mariner? Could it be Jamaican, brother? Yeah. Or he or could, could be, be Chinese because then wasn't that the Silk the Road really route. famous in the yeah, olden this, days? Yeah. And the spice route and all that good stuff. You could be Italian because all the spices. I'll take I'll take Italian. I Italian. I like the bread. The, yeah, the pasta. The foods. All the carbs. Next up was Heather. Her best advice from her grandparents. Are you? I do it. Always get be it? kind. Yes, I get it. Always be kind. Yeah, that's like, the best advice Heather has. Don't that's be a really dick. Good, that's also really amazing. Best. Well. I mean, that's beyond don't be a dick. Yeah, it's... I try to not be a dick, but I'm generally not kind. Yeah, you are. I don't know, maybe. You invite me over for dinner, all that shit. Yeah, it's you, but that's not... Uh, I don't know if I can say that about everyone. I think I think the kind thing is the one that ex- has to ex- extenuate past our friends and family. Because, like, it's it's how you treat your non-close people, I think, is really... Yeah, I, 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 that's a good point. character of you, because... I am sure that Saddam Hussein loved his kids. I hope so. But it was fucking Saddam Hussein. You know what I mean? Like, did Hitler love his uh, Ava? Himself? What's his name? His, What's his, her name? Rosie Palm and his five hundred five friends. What's her fucking name? Ava Brown. Brown. Braun. Brown. Braun. Brown. What? It could be Brown. Is B R A U N. That's what I thought. Okay. But um, no, I'm just saying, like, I get it. bad people, like, you see the love their loved like, ones. Qaddafi, Momar, they talk yes. about him losing his one of his sons in one of the bombing attacks or whatever, and you're like, oh shit, yeah. like, 
that dude's heart. Like he has a heart too, but he's just a fucking tyrant, but he has a heart. It's, that's a real strange dichotomy in humanity. I'm still trying to figure out. What, what did you just suck on? Got to the grounds? bottom of the coffee. I was like, what, what is it doing? Like? <laughs> is it groundy? Is it groundy? Or yeah, I got some grounds sm- up in my grill. How do you get grounds? Do you not have a filter? I have French press. Oh. So there, there's, some, there's not a lot, but. A little French press. Very, like very this. little. All right. So always be kind. Thank you. That is very great advice. Heather's worst advice, always be careful. I think that goes towards like, hey, take some chances sometimes. And if you're, if you take always be careful to the extreme, you'll never leave your house. So I, I, that's where it came from. I get that. My challenge with it, if I have a challenge, which I can't say I do. Then why are you going to tell me? My challenge with it is. You said you don't have one. I said, I don't, I said I'm working on it, man. (laughs) I'm workshopping my, my thoughts. It's a little ambiguous to have to go that far. Cause like for me to say not be careful, I'm like, I say I'm careful with everything I do. It doesn't mean I don't take chances. But if you're always if you're told to always be careful repeatedly as a child and an adolescent with a young developing mind, yes. it can get to the point where you won't try new things as an adult. You're like, I'm just gonna eat bologna and white bread and never try filet mignon or never try beef wellington or because you're it's cr- it's shaped you to not try to experience new things. I'm careful with what I want to try. However, we started the podcast. That's a pretty big step out there. Yeah. We hung our matzo balls out there pretty good. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we're nobodies and we just started this thing. Speak and for yourself. We have opinions that probably have other people have different thoughts and it's, it's, we're putting ourselves out there, right? For, you know, for people to listen to and criticize or agree with whatever, whatever they do. Yep. And I'm careful about everything. So still take chances. But I get I do get the overall thought of it. I totally get it. Yeah. I li- I think like being overly cautious. Correct. Don't be overly cautious. That's good advice, I think. Like, yeah. Life's too short, man. Yeah. Yeah, be don't be a pussy. Yeah, you pussy. Uh yeah, excellent. Heather, thank you. Yay. Next up is Abel, our new junior super executive producer. Yeah, he's now produced two episodes. Yeah. I think, right? His At least two. Two, seven, I don't know. Whatever it takes. 17 days, 19, all that shit. Uh, Abel's worst advice, my mom gave me a book in the early 2000s, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I read it, not just skimmed it, I read it. And when I was done, I just thought, and question mark that sounds more like a gift than advice but i will accept that what what it was all mumbo jumbo believe in yourself help crap i'll never get that time back (laughs) (laughs) what's wrong with mantras he's not into self-help crap i don't know dude that's oh i'm just gonna have a concussion too (laughs) sir um, Lime in the coconut. Has, okay, anyone who has stepped within the thick white lines onto the actual playing surface has a concussion. Has a concussion. A CT of some sort uh, and yes. probably is in trouble. Well, when the two coconuts knock on the... You're going to have a problema. Always look on the concuss side, side of life. life. Did you know that that song plays... Tangent, motherfuckers. After every Iron Maiden concert. No. They walk off the stage, the lights come on, and the life of Brian plays. I love it. Always look on the look bright on side of life. Death. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of death metal. Don't they do both sides, though? Don't they say both. life and death in, it, in the song? Both sides both of, of death them. metal. Spam. Spam, 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 and spam. Spam, and spam. Abel's best advice. Abel's best advice. Home, uh, oh, branch offices in Santa Ana, Ana California. Santa Ana, na, na, na. Um, Yo, yes. Okay. Best advice from uh, Senor Abel. Yogurt. After booze binging severely lessens the hangover effects, his mother told him. Best advice is yogurt helps lessen the hangover effects? Yeah, and I've tried this. So if you've been drinking, 
have some you have a little tiny thing of yo play or before fucking, you go to sleep before or? you go to bed oh, okay and it it really helps with the hangover the next day and if you forget have the yogurt first thing in the morning he's told me and i can tell you it shit fucking works because i think it's the acidity and the cultures and shit in does it helps. work as well as drinking water before you go to bed like glasses of water i think for the it, hydration i think side? it because they both or something? help right but I think I the yogurt is, is not yogurt. something a lot of people do. Not, it's not Greek. It doesn't have to be Greek, though, right? No, just like I just plain, get like fucking. Yo-play, I get yo play strawberry and shit. Fucking yeah. vanilla. Yeah, no, it's just yo- the consistency plain. and the okay. what the the yeah the cultures like your point yeah the, the how far it's been cultured it absorbs right? all the alcohol and blah 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 blah. Uh, also, Abel's last piece of good advice because he's a baking fool. Baking fool. When baking, don't use cold eggs. Let them get to somewhat of room temperature. That is good. For advice. all the baking tip people out there, there you go. Room temperature. And and watching uh, Jeopardy, did I tell you what room temperature is, sir? No. What, what is room temperature? 72 degrees. Yes. I guessed incorrectly. Didn't I say I seven? 68? I said 68. 70? Yeah. yeah. 68 or 70. I was not off by one or two. Yeah. You weren't far. You are good. Not far. Okay. Just kind of far. Okay. What's the next, uh, what's the worst advice that Abel? Oh, now is, the, is Abel's vi- wife can ever be introduced into this? Lisa, she's given several, she's, yeah, she's, had some she's given several responses, but okay. uh, I, did, I can start texting her too if you like. We love everyone. Every, we love all the people. Nothing okay. but love. Worst, and worst stuff. Abel advice. And go. Uh, that was the book, that The Seven oh, the Spiritual book. Oh, he started laws. with the worst. It started with the worst. Gosh darn it. Yeah, the mumbo jumbo. Self help crap. Back. Quote unquote. Have you ever seen the meme about like basically the only reason white we're just basically white guys like doing therapy for free? That's why we have podcasts. And I'm like, I did not looking back at that or looking at it now. Not that untrue. Probably. I've not seen that meme. It's a pretty funny one. Okay. It's pretty funny. And then there was another one with these video guys talking where the guy like where they say nothing and they just go back and forth. I'm like, gosh, we resemble that. You mean Seinfeld podcast? The Seincast. Is it called the Seincast? No, I just made that up. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a podcast. Yes. Next the, uh, up. Next. Uh, who's after Abel? After Abel is our super senior executive producer, Mary, from I, the home office in Scottsdale, the branch office in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yes. Yes. We've had responses from all of the branches. Whoa. S- have we had response yeah. from all the branches? Yes. Yeah. We have. All three. Thank you. Uh, Mary's best advice: Go to college. Hmm. Uh, so In today's I, world, I guess she went to college. Well, this was back thirty then, years ago. Back then, I think it, I think different. that was great advice. Yeah, and it depends on what you want to do. If you just want to go into the Iranian cyber army, maybe you don't need to go to college. I don't know these things. No, because you go in at eighteen, man. Yeah, they pay for all your shit. You get a spicy little uniform. Ow. Probably get a cool little like logo patch to put yes. on your on your on your little computers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like a computer. Screen. It's got to be a computer, she right? Nerd. <laughs> so, Revenge of the Nerds oh, has a brand shit. new meeting, ladies and gentlemen. Like, what the fuck? What's what's on the fucking drone squad? Is it a fucking gamepad? Like, is it like the little? It's n- yeah, it's the Nintendo thingies. <laughs> the fucking game. It's a fucking Xbox pad. That's beautiful. I don't know why that I find that funny, but I do. Because you're funny. I'm not funny. I just you find are. stupid shit funny. Well, I told you before the podcast is that what I find funny is that you think you're so funny. That's hysterical. Because <laughs> That sounds like I'm an asshole. Though. No, but it cracks me up that you think you're so funny. But I really don't. I'm just not funny. I just laugh at myself a lot, I think. Uh, yeah. What do you want me to do? Hey, uh, yo. Hey, yo. You want me to be part of this? Mary's yeah. worst advice. Yes. Don't marry Wayne. And they've now been married for 23 years. Who told Who told I, her this? I do not know. Madre? I Madre? Don't, no. Sister? I don't know. I should <laughs> not friend? have a sister. It, could have been, it had to be a friend. <coughs> it had to be a friend who was choking on his Diet Coke Zero. Yeah. There is no Diet Coke Zero. Diet Coke Zero Lemon Lime Splash. Bud citrus. Light Lime. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, Mary's husband of 23 years, Wayne. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Before we continue. Yeah. I'm going to mute while you talk for a second. Okay. 
Soda can popping, ladies and gentlemen. The diet, Dr. Pepper. The doctor's in the house. Uh, Wayne's advice. Once again, not diet, Dr. Pepper. Doctor, di- Dr. Pepper diet. Dr. Thank Dr. you. Pepper diet. And secondly, yeah. Would your would would, it, would your advice be to go to college? Would that be a piece of advice? It depends. You would give someone? Uh, well, I mean, if you're going to be a nuclear engineer, you're probably going to need to go to have some schooling. Yeah. Or if you want to be an astronaut <laughs> or right. a pilot. Like, obviously. I mean, but I mean, like in the general public, like if you have a general idea that you don't know what you're going to do and it's not some kind of path that is ultra specific, specific you know, tailored to what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Cause look, look at me. Like I went to the wrong school, not because it was a bad school. The school's excellent for its specific thing. It just wasn't what I ended up doing. Yeah. Two champion. All right. So yes. that's all. Not, I, not I don't know. Way. To answer your question, I think it depends upon the interest of the person and what they're what they want to do. So I think college is incredibly expensive for no reason. Yeah. So we should get into the college increase costs. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so go to college. Don't know, but Wayne. After that is after Mary is after Mary Wayne-o. is Wayne. And th- his response was very strange. Is he Mister Super Senior Executive Producer Wayne? He's the first dude. She's like the president, She's and the he's president. the first he's the dude. First. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> first gay. Uh, Wayne's response. One word. Quote, plastics. Unquote. Best advice? I don't know. Uh, his response to my podcast survey question was, w- quote, one word, quote, plastics, end quote, end quote. One what, word, plastics. What did you text him? The usual fucking I, thing, I man. Need, I well, I need the exact question. Bro. Well, if it's, what's the worst <sighs> advice you've given? And he said one word plastics, then the worst advice is plastics. If it's best advice you've given, then it's, then the word best advice is plastics. Sir, th- qu- this is what I sent to everybody. Okay. Survey of the w- week, colon, best and slash or worst advice you've ever been given, question mark. So I think it's the best advice because it's best or because you said, said and best or. and or worst right, and or so you're definitely one is best and or the worst. Yes, the way well, I, I guess it, it I is and point. or. But no, no, actually, the way you're point, the way you're saying it is, you're saying either of them. I would like both, but if yeah. you want to give one, that's one fine. or the that's other. But the, he didn't specify which one. Correct. He said which one, one word plastics. Think plastics is? I don't fucking know. He likes Tupperware. <laughs> Does he like uh, the way? He. Plastic straws. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was hoping you would know. You <laughs> know, then I would know it. One word. I don't know. Plastics. Yes. Um, they're a phenomenal thing. They've gotten us really far, but they're also creating some problems now. So aren't just like everything does. It does plastic great is the cons? Legos are made of plastic, right? <laughs> no. Is Lego but made Lego of is are made Lego of plastic. made of plastic? Lego but not are, Legos. Lego are made of plastic. Legos are like unicorns. They're mythical and do not <laughs> exist. They're mythical and magical and they fart. Yeah, rainbows. they are magical, but they also do not exist. Okay. Um, so what's your question about this again? Nothing. I don't know. I don't uh, have a question. What about Lego being mythical or it's magical? Plastic. Oh. So maybe yeah, he loves plastic. Legos, therefore Maybe he likes his pacemaker that his Mima has. <sighs> And it's plastic or Could be. artificial heart valve pump. Whoa. Like, I don't know. The Jarvis heart, bro. Like, maybe he loves Ziploc. To your point, like, you like That's Tupperware, good, maybe he likes I'm the a Ziploc. big Ziploc person, dude. Yeah, I Ziplocs love Ziplocs. are very important in today's world. They're like a great waste of things, but also a great saver of things. Yeah. Very interesting. But plastic the waste. is just, it's chemicals, right? It's, it's not good the pro- for the environment, right? The problem is the chemical is, is petroleum, it's oil. Yeah, which which we drill. We have to get out of the ground to make yeah. Tupperware. And that's that's where, weird. And that's where the recycling comes in because recycling, what it does is you can reuse pieces of recycling, but you chip it into little like a powder. S- yeah. But you can only do that so many times before it loses its integrity. So it but can that, only be recycled maybe three, four times. Oh. So there's a portion of that that matters, like what sticks, like almost like what actually works. Yeah. Whereas like, let's be honest, hemp would be a great oil. Because hemp is biodegradable just in its nature. Yeah. It's from plants. So it's not from the, you know, it, from the it's ground. It's not, not drilling. From, right. Not from fossil the earth, fuels. From the ground. Right. So. Earth. Still have that opinion. 
but it's good advice plastic or you know what has both the best and or worst advice yeah, i've both. ever heard it's both well it's and or for sure yeah and it, or it's terrible and amazing or amazing even yes can wayne can you specify please because this is ridiculous <laughs> I don't know uh, what that means. Next Plastic. up okay. is the Who's backdoor that? Commodore. Do we need a naval salute? Naval salute. He said the list is too long for the worst. The best. Go to Embry Riddle and attain my dream. I like that. Yes, two champion. And Embry Riddle is a place. Embry Riddle. You have a dream to do what you want to do. That's a place. Embry Riddle is a university where they train aviation professionals professionals of all sorts pilots engineers, and engineers computer and, science mm -hmm. flight safety electricals all electrical the electricals. engineers air airframe power plant motherfuckers <laughs> especially those motherfuckers especially the motherfuckers yeah the guys building design and how many people do we know work at skunk works one just one i thought i thought like wayne and chris did no oh croston i thought no i don't know he, where he works oh i, I know he did dr eaton works there yeah still there I thought well, they, he moved well, to he DC, moved, right? He moved but I don't know DC. what he's. Yeah, he's I don't know if the else. job change or something. But yeah, nice shout out, uh, uh, Senor Roberto. The best advice is to listen more. I love that. I think it's amazing advice because we don't listen enough. You're doing it right now, and I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna hump you so hard later. I mean, dry hump over your pants later. Yeah. What up? And then I'm going to reward you with dinner of Uncrustables. I listen to all that and I'm <laughs> disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's some but funny. Not in a bad way because I love you, man. You can dry hump me anytime you want. Oh, if I'm you really excited, need to get dude. off or something, no, I'm if, you good. Need to use, if you need to use my upper thigh and just grind, go for it. Like, as long as our peens don't touch. <laughs> No peen touching. No peen touching. Debo. It's just it's just not my thing. I'm totally cool if other people do it. It's just not what I want to do. But if you want to like grind, I just don't hump, want you to feel violated. You know, if you want to dry hump the outer side of my thigh, like my outer hip area, like thigh Hipple? area. Yeah, well, your hip you've area. got your you've got your quad in the front. You've got your hammy in the back. Yeah, there's that middle part, the quammy. Yeah. <laughs> the quammy. I might pull a quammy. <laughs> I might pull a quammy Ugh. or the quad string. You know, the the quammy, whatever yeah. it is. Regardless, that part right there, you can dry, you can grind up against that all you want till even till you finish, as long as you just keep your pants on. Uh, okay, let's move along. Just for future. I'm reference. sorry, I said hump your pants. You know what I'm sorry about? Uh, this whole conversation that I said this out loud <laughs> to people and people are listening. <laughs> Thank goodness, I have that many so many regrets. Listen. Is this the worst advice we've ever given? That, well, <laughs> that you could dry hump me is probably the worst <laughs> advice I'll ever give anyone. Uh, I'm giving you the green light to do it. Yeah, I think that's pretty bad. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> it is. Right. Uh, Roberto's the worst advice he was ever given vote for Trump huh did he take the advice no okay it's just advice that was given someone told him to vote for Trump and he oh. believes that was the worst advice he's ever been given yeah. How, there must have been a number of people who told him that over the course of some time uh, uh, there's a over five people. years I would think that that's correct yeah I would guess so too yeah anyway alright well yeah Good. Next up is Senor Vincenzo. Which I wonder if we should have said, "What's the worst advice that you took?" And then it was fucking yeah, worked, that worked out like shit for you. Right? Like, oh, this is a great idea, and then you do it. Like, if I were you, I'd do is like, yeah, and then you actually do it. What's the after effect of that motherfucking idea? Whoa. That's what we should have really. We should have looked at one of those. Whoa. But anyway, sorry. What's the next? No, one? it's fine. Uh, Vincent's answer: You've already precogged, sir. How did I pre it's I don't a, even when know. When I speak, you will, if you listen, you will know. You ready? Best or worst? Best advice okay. from Vincent. Vincent. Get the four by four. Patties and cheese from In-N-Out Burger. Mustard fries with oh. sauteed onion rings. <laughs> Mother. I told you. We talked about oh. In-N-Out Burger before we started. So we were. Ladies and gentlemen, today is uh, Sunday, January 24th, 2021. Yeah. And Christopher and I record, or decided to record two episodes today. Prior to that, as we're plugging everything in, get everything set up, we're having a conversation. And I'm like, 
I want some fucking in and out four by four animal style with animal style fries. And then you're like, he, you said something about precog, and I'm like, whatever. That and I was going to save it, it so that I could see Thank a reaction. You. That is awesome. During the podcast. The and, it ha- and it's a four by four. It is yeah, specifically, because I'm a big motherfucker, it is a four by four always. I've never had more than two. Get a four by four. You know, okay. You, you, uh, first of all, you can still hold it in one hand. Yeah. Which is impressive. Yeah. Do you do animal style or do you not do uh, animal uh, style? No, I've never even tried it. I should. Because I do like- Is it's it like, fresh onions? It's Thousand Island dressing no. fried, right? Yeah, but is it fresh Is it fresh onions? Or is it sauteed no, no. onions? Is it fresh onions when you, when you order yours? What do you? What comes on? On the burger, lettuce, tomato, and what? No tomato. I don't get. I don't like oh, tomato. Add, if it, but it would be on there, right? If it was, if you add for a cheeseburger, like a double double with cheese. I don't think it comes with tomato. Okay. But but lettuce. I do get raw onion. Okay, it does, it is raw onion, but you don't ask for it. They put it on, right? Y- they it's usually auto. ask, "Do you want onions?" And I always oh, say yes. Okay, so they ask if you want it, but you don't like initially. Like I have to tell them. They actually ask you if you want it. Yes, okay. from every time. Yes, sir. When you go animal style, they saute the onions, and so it actually sweets. They put mustard on the patty before pan frying it, so it oh. fries the mustard in. Add Thousand Island, and it it is a flavor change. It ta- it tastes so good. And then do it that way with the fries, but get the fries well done versus just plain. And heaven, man. Heaven. I believe uh, Vincent I and uh, my cousin Jose both picked the 4x4 four four as their entree of choice during that podcast, the drive through entree. And then I told you how my cousin got a 4x4 four four in the morning of Thanksgiving. Yes. And, and then he couldn't eat. Well, and then he's like, I'm so full. I'm like, dude, full. we just sat down. <laughs> you moron. I fucking love that guy. You moron. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> and then he's like, like he's cool. I'm so full. Pass the mashed potatoes, which he called instant heart attack. Mashed potatoes were instant heart attack or the 4x4 four four was? The instant heart, the mashed potatoes. Every year he always called those instant heart attack. Because it's all butter and there. salt yeah. and cream and, and awesome. Yeah. Yeah, how's that instant heart attack? That's an instant heart, heart hug. It's like a hug on your heart. Not a, I mean, it might squeeze a little hard till it stops, but it's still a hug. I agree completely, dude. It still hugs your heart. Yes. It might do it in a deathly manner. Whoa. Whoa, something, someone's vibrator is going off on the table. my phone's on airplane mode. I'm so sorry. Oh, Why, okay. It is on airplane mode. Why is it ringing? All right, so I pre-cogged the 4x4 four four with Vincent. You did. All right, what about... I like that. What's the worst advice? Vincent's worst advice. Does that mean I have to go today? Because I have to talk to You don't have to do anything, dude. Can I? Okay. Does that mean I'm coerced into con- trying to convince Megzi to drive me because I'm medicating? Yes. Or you can do Uber. Uber Eats. Dr- dr- dry Hub. What's that shit called? Dry Hub. Dry dr- Hub. <laughs> Grub are you Hub. Talking about, are you talking about whore dashing in <laughs> and Uber fucks? I still Whore think delivery. that was the com. best fucking thing. Whore dash and Uber fucks. Speaking of all those uh, those things, Vincent's worst advice? Yes. Try her before you buy her. <laughs> How about that? So don't pay her until you fuck her? Or don't sleep with her till you marry her? I don't know. Try her before you buy her is what he said. Well, try her before you hire her. Definitely fuck her before you marry her. But... Make Would that up. also work with the, with the prostitution? Like before you buy her, you got to try. How do you? I, I would think so. Yes, I don't I'm feel like, a, like I, it's you not. Get a but t- I'm going to say yes. But you don't get a free fucking sample. This isn't the. You fucking, should. This isn't. It's like drugs. This hey, isn't bro. Sam's Club. First one's free, man. This isn't Sam's Club buffet. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. Would you like your samples? Here's a whore, and here's a prostitute. They're both whores. Don't worry about it. Terrible. Just and here's a slut over there. Yeah. They're, they all cost. Trust me, you're going to pay in some way. Yeah. I mean, anyway. True. Okay. Try her before you buy her. Did I tell you the story about... No. My dad talking to Megzi? Yes. Did I, did you did tell I do it on, it on the, the air? Did you, I don't know. She's told me it as when well, I and embar- it's amazing. When I embarrass her? Of course you will. Oh, I can't do it then. I shouldn't. <laughs> it's amazing. It's about the one... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Such good advice. That comes from cows. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um... Okay, what do we have next? Next is that up is it? Felicia. Okay. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Felicia's, the worst advice she was given is, having kids is a blessing, and I should start having them. I'll regret it if I don't. That's probably not advice per se, but it's the worst thing to tell someone. <laughs> no, like, that is fucking I agree the with that advice. shit, Felicia, 100%. Well, it, they don't have children, right? No. Okay. 
First of all, Felicia. Hi. No bye. Hi. <laughs> Don't let these motherfuckers tell you to have fucking children. That is absolutely the worst advice anyone. Have children. Breed. Are you fucking kidding me in today's world? That's your best advice. Well, don't you think it, someone that gave that advice, advice is trying to say, hey, my children Be as are as miserable the, as the, I am? The, yeah. The children are the light of my life. That Having kids is the best thing that ever happened to me. I've heard that a lot from parents. So that could be where that person was coming from. I'm too German, man. I'm sorry. I okay. got schadenfreude. I want to see people miserable. So I'd be like, hey, be as miserable as me. Get married. Have babies. What's the worst thing that can happen? If <laughs> I were you, I'd do it. <laughs> if I were you, I'd do her. But I'd try her before I buy her. We could her. just combine all but this into one sentence. And once I buy her, then I'm banging and her. And then I'm taking then her to get a four kids, by four. And then we're going to be miserable together. <laughs> And then I'm going to convince other people to be as miserable as I am. Correct. See, that is, that's actually why I believe in gay marriage. Because they should be as miserable as the straight they people? They should have the opportunity to be as miserable as the fucking everyone else. Okay. Amen. I fight for that. I fight for that opportunity. You fight for the right to party? Yeah, that too. You know, beasties. They know what's up. Okay. Ooh, that's a crash. Ooh. There's a car crash on TV. Nays cars. Uh, what is the, what's the next? Uh, Felicia's best advice she ever yes. received Stop worrying about what others think about you. Just be yourself, and people will like you just fine. It's kind of a double. Somebody said kind of like yes. be yourself or be true to yourself. Yes, correct. So that's good. And I like that. Oh, excellent. What's don't, don't worry about other, what the outside influences are. Just be yourself, and everything's going to be cool. And I Except dig Except for when we do like podcasts. Except when we do podcasts. What? Like, bro, don't, don't, don't let me be myself. Okay. Get off me, bro. Get off me, bro. <laughs> Are we talking about the cameras or dry humping? No, yeah, dry humping. All right. Get off me, bro. And and off me. Again. Oh, sorry. Uh Felicia's lovely husband, Mr. Steve Millar, said per his dad. I'm wait for you to put that drink down. All girls are crazy, his father says. Find the crazy you can deal with and stay with her. <laughs> best advice? That's the best advice he yeah. ever got from his padre. I thought that was going to go another way. <laughs> I thought that was going to go find the craziest one because she'll be the hottest. Uh, that's also true. You've got that but that weird, was not the advice he was given. Right. I'm just saying there's that crazy, weird hot scale. Oh, yeah, crazy yeah, of course. Scaling. And then you've got that woman who dances that line. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the. I don't even like dancing. Anything above that line, yes. she's hotter than crazy. Yes. That's like gold. That's a that's unicorn. unicorn. And then below that line. That's Legos. More crazy than not. Because it's a unicorn. What? Don't don't push me. Away. <laughs> and, and get off me, bro. Next up was Mr. <laughs> Adam. I'm having a hard time thinking of anything catastrophically good or bad that has or could have ever happened based on advice either taken or offered. I tend to ignore people's unsolicited advice as it's usually to push their own agenda rather than for their any potential benefit to me. And my response to that was, if I can find it, I see you thought of ignoring the a-holes as you giving yourself great advice. And he's like, oh shit, I didn't even think of that. Okay, that's my answer. <laughs> Self-given, ignore the fuck out of everyone else's advice. I, how can you argue with that? Uh, I, I think it's a fucking great. You know, by typing the fact that he didn't know the right response, he, his response is amazing. You know, he formulated his own. <clears throat> yes, I like it. That's all I have, sir. Except for ours. Ooh, Ooh ours. We know. Do you even have any? I have one, but I don't think it's very good. Okay. Okay. I, I probably can share a couple. Don't lose your son. What? I remember at the Ember Riddle commencement speech uh -oh. or whatever, I walked. Graduation day. Was it 97? Sure. I it was. And I think someone said, try to understand, not ask to be understood. Huh. And initially I'm like, it was like almost a weird epiphany. Because like, you know, you're a college kid, so you're kind of into yourself. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm, I mean, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you... 
your whole world revolves around yourself basically at that point. Yes. Like, let's not kid ourselves. I was like, wow, it's epiphany. But now looking in hindsight, I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> Cause like, I'm, I am myself and like, I don't fucking need to be, no, you need to understand me. Cause I am fucking not what you are. Definitely uh, not even in the same fucking field, sport, fucking area. Galaxy. So can you help me? No, I need to be, I need your help into trying to help understand me. I know that's extremely narcissistic. Yeah. But I don't like narcissists. But I can't. I, I'm trying. Understanding you is not going to get this thing better. It's what not going to get talking about move the ball down the road. I'm just saying that's like it was an advice piece of advice for life. Is but is trying it, to understand versus asking to be understood. You know, everybody's like struggling because they're asking dude, to be understood. Dude, 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 stop talking. Okay, look at. Hey, it's going to be okay. I'll hump your leg later. Let me explain something. Okay, just listen. Okay. <laughs> It's po- if you try to understand other people, it would make sense that they would naturally try to understand you too. So it would benefit everyone. I get that. You see? I do. But I mean, versus being understood, I struggle with, because I, I have a hard means, time to be on the same. That just try, we should be less selfish plane. and try to understand people. Okay. That's what he's, you know, that's, I think that's great. I took it down. Well, no, I don't think it's necessarily a bad piece of advice, except for the fact that it's like, I don't feel like anyone takes the time to try to understand you. Oh, no shit. <laughs> Yet there's a group, like it's tiered, like cer- a certain percentage of people get each other. Yeah. So they, certain percentage of people like reality television Ugh. or certain music or certain. Yes politics or certain this side or the other right everyone likes a a certain whatever they like whatever it is they like what i tend to like is not generally not it's not accepted because that's a weird i I think that's a dumb thing like because i don't pay attention to that but it's not um universally like embraced open armsy because i because a weirdo like nerd geek geek kind of guy you know what i'm saying yeah that's all sometimes i want to be understood in that nerdy geek well yeah of course we all want that. Yeah. That's a human. We all want to be understood. Yeah. No that's shit. What I'm saying. And that can be a struggle. And I get your point. That's all. The worst advice I ever got, I think, is my father said, don't speak unless you're spoken to. I don't think that's really advice. That's more like a directive or an order. <laughs> an or, yeah. Uh, my, but my little boy brain translated that as to sit down and shut the fuck up. So I don't really have a lot of advice, good or bad. It's more things that I was told that I either like or don't like, but I also, one way I looked at this question was that, um, I have a, uh, my buddy, Dan, I kind of consider as my, my career mentor. He never gave me advice, but I've kind of tried to model my career after the way he did things regarding never burn a bridge. No one ever told me that. I just figured it out. Always network with people. Always utilize your connections and and make friends with people to make your job easier. And I always tried to do that because I saw him do it. So he did give you advice. He just didn't tell it to you. Correct. It he was led p- by example. Correct. But he was never smoking, spoken. Spoken. Right. But I think that's his own advice for himself, right? Is lead by example versus like yeah. Giving advice. And I tried to do the same thing because I would never, when I was in a management role, I would never ask someone to do something on my team I wouldn't do myself. Right. No, no, I'm saying it's it Same just thing. speaks to you and how well you uh want to excel at what your position is, whatever tasks you take on. Everything, yeah. Right. Building because, Legos, all that well, shit. <laughs> don't push me, bro. We got to record on the, on the sound pad. Don't push don't me. Don't push me, bro. Cuz I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Um, to that end, yes. Yeah, you just excel at the job. So you actually took his example, where some people might not. So that's hard. Absolutely it's a hard true. one to like lead by example, just because like without barking to do it or something. Oh yeah, it's, and that's it's impressive to me. A lot of times that doesn't do any. That's, no, it's admirable. Yeah, to, to be able to do well that. to bark at, I I think is not effective. Oh, yeah. No, I so, agree. Sometimes. I agree that it's not a generally effective thing, and that's why it doesn't make sense to do it. Some people don't respond to that. I know. I'm I'm like, really, bro? Okay. 
I had a boss like that many moons ago, and it didn't that didn't that didn't go well. I quit. Oh, literally, literally quit. I literally Not quit figuratively, and I literally moved to Nashville I because of that fucking dude. Did <laughs> Nash- anyone advise? Huh? Did anyone advise you to go to Nashville? No. A, a paycheck. Did anyone tell you not to? A big fat paycheck. Anyone advise you not to? No, I'm just wondering if no. you got some advice about going or not uh, going. No. And how that was, worked out for you. I mean, somebody, a friend of mine saw that the paycheck, the yearly salary, and they're like, oh my God, <laughs> you have to go. Did it? Was it followed by what's the worst that could happen? If I were you, I'd, I'd, I'd do it. Do it. <laughs> I'd try that job before you buy it. Uh, that's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Don't marry oh, that job. Man. Plastics. Could he be? Refer- could Wayne be referring to the girls from Mean Girls called the Plastics? Mm, no, I don't know. Have you seen that? No, oh, I've seen Mean Girls. Yeah, have I seen? Yeah, mean they're, they're called the Plastics. Ago. No, but it, it's one word: Plastics, not the Plastics. Uh, true. And I feel like true. the Plastics would be okay. Even if he just said one word, the Plastics, it still would be the Plastics. You're correct. Plastics. Two words, the Plastics. Yes, it doesn't help. What What other advice sure. do you um, have? Check mark. I afford to looking for I, good advice. I'm grateful for like certain manners that I was taught growing up, courtesy things. Yeah. So those are good, but general advice like uh, we didn't talk money at, around our house, which I think. Germans are very like conservative, not in their necessarily their social outlook, but just in their financial personal lives. They're very conservative Uh, or they're super crazy. Like, yeah. If you've seen like German porn, it's crazy. Uh, What? Yeah. It's crazy stuff. They do like all gang. Oh shit. Uh, What? No, this is the best advice. Not the best (laughs) porn. Um, Best advice. Different podcasts. Dude, that's not ours. No, but. Like not talking about money was like a big thing. And it's almost like, no, money is where we should talk about because maybe we can help each other with pieces of advice on how to do things better. Because I like that. We compare ourselves like to the Jewish culture where money's discussed at the table. Openly. Like a dinner table. Right. Like, openly. Right. And when you go, it's like a shock. You know what I mean? Like to yeah. hear that because it's, very, it's so yes. private and so with different. Germans, right. Yeah. We just have different conversations. So yeah. that was, I thought that was kind of dumb to like not, you know, the and just the conservative nature, like don't take risks was, I don't, I don't know what part of me made me scared to try things, but I used to not be that way, I feel like, and I got conditioned to. Yeah, but you're always, you're, we're always like, hey, Chris, do you want to go to that new restaurant? Hey, restaurant. let's go to, da, 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 let's bro. try something different. Easy. We always do that. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, just in general, like trying projects and things. Like, I just hear failure in the back of my head. Well, there's nothing wrong with failure, man. Get me on the couch, bro. Uh, no. uh, I don't but, uh, get you let's on the good, couch. Good advice. Yeah. Well, you're gonna dry out my leg later, so you better get me on the couch, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> big? Did you not like big boy? Oh, uh, big. Why you call me big boy? Big boy. Get back on. Get off me, bro. Uh, you get on me. Shit. Get off me, and then you can get on me. Uh, yeah, what? Come over. That's all I have, sir. Yeah, okay. So, once again, this has been... Best and worst advice from the Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G, you weirdo. I am a weirdo. I was re- <laughs> I was re-distracting. Why, were, why are you reading? I was reading... I, I'm not reading. What are you reading? I Beer Googled some websites about best and worst advice, and they were both awful and awful. Okay. So well, I was trying to read I through them wanna, going, did I want to share any of them? They don't. I decided to go to college. It. I felt like pay off your house. Pretty, yeah. You know, shit. Yes. Basic shit. Like seriously. For reals. How about, can we, the bet, may I give the best piece of advice? I would love to hear it. Try to approach everything from, with some semblance of common sense. I love pro common sense. I go back That's to Tony. Tony's platform. I go back to Tony and from the Prime, UK. Minister, Prime Minister Tony told us, "I'm from the school of common sense." Pro common sense. Pro com- I'm pro common sense is what it is. I, I mean, love you know, that. And I. I know that not everyone knows or understands what common sense is, and that's kind of the that's the bad part because we don't know how to how do you measure common sense like common sense? How do you measure it, it, whether it, someone has the capacity uh, to com- have common sense? The Richter or not? scale. 
It's how you measure. Is it the CTEI scale? Yeah, the yeah CTE right. index scale. How many times they got dropped on some baby <laughs> on their heads in the NFL? How many times you got dropped on the NFL? <laughs> so no, but I mean, like, uh, I think that would be cool. What what the fuck was I saying? The CTE scale. Yeah, the scale. How do you measure common no. sense? Yeah, common sense. Like, let's use common sense. That'd be great. That's that's the good best advice. advice. But then it gets tricky because what, le, how far is, com, like, how much common sense is common is common sense? I understand. Do you have to work through every problem in your head before yeah. you go crazy? Yeah, you do, I would you, love to you, say yes. You do. I do. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Wow. You're a rebel without a cause clue. or clue? Both. All right. Close this out. I don't have either it. one, dude. Well, this has been fun. We've yes. got Now, what do we need to do, though? Before we continue... We must ask some favors of our Twitterverse and our social media verse and our podcast verse and whoever verses the the multiverse, us. the Psalms, um, Matthew, Psalm. Luke, the, yeah, the verses. Oh, all the verses. <laughs> I'm like the what multiverse, is he the about? universe, the uh, Marvel. We are asking all these people to uh, subscribe and rate and download and give stars and comments. And did I miss anything? And the Podbean and the Spotify. And then. And the Apple iTunes. What's the final thing we're going to ask people? Uh, is to, or we're going to tell them. What's the two pieces of advice like you can give? I'd like to give everyone yes. some advice. Two pieces of advice. Mike. Both. Two. Both. Two champions. Be excellent to each other and party on the <laughs>